Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about a BJT or a transistor constant current sweep circuit. So in the previous video, I have explained you about a transistor sweep circuit, how to generate a sweep circuit. That sweep must be having very low slope error. That means the slope must be linear. Okay. So whenever we are uh, trying to generate a time based generator or create a time based generator, the slope error must be very, very low. Slope error is nothing but this one, ES. ES is equal to VS by V. This value must be very, very low. We are choosing the time based generator in order to the sweep speed error must be very, very low value. That means the slope must be like this. Okay, the capacitor linearly charges. If you are having any time based generator, if you are saying the capacitor charges means that, that capacitor charges linearly. That capacitor should charge linearly. Okay, so in order to create this type of circuit, we are trying different, different circuits among them. One is here a transistor constant current sweep circuit. If the current is a constant current that flows through the capacitor, we are assuming that the capacitor charges linearly. So there will be a linear increment in the output voltage. Okay. So now we are having, we are using a common base configuration circuit in this. So common base configuration is prepared here common base configuration as shown here we know the transistor has three terminals emitter base collector and in this i am using common base so this is the base terminal which is common between input and output and here i am taking a pnp transistor it is emitter it is the flow of conventional current and this is the collector terminal Okay, now we are see always time based generator must have a capacitor and as well as resistor. So this is the capacitor we are taking across which a switch is connected. The purpose of switch is whenever we need an operation, then the switch is open. Okay, when switch is open, capacitor charges like that. We are setting the switch across the capacitor and the base is connected to the ground. From the ground, we are having two voltages. Let it be some VCC is applied here on one hand. Another one is a biasing supply VE is also applied. Here, this is the emitter resistor RE. Positive and negative. This is VEE -E and this is VCC. This is the capacitor to charge and this is the emitter resistor RE. Okay, and current flowing through this emitter is IE from this VEE towards the emitter. And the current flowing through this capacitor is IC that enters into the collector. So the cumulative current IE plus IC that goes into the IB. Okay, so now the equivalent circuit of this one is this is the common base configuration for the generation of your sweep circuit. And the other circuit is a small signal model circuit. Small signal model where the input resistor RE is as it is with the equivalent voltage like VI plus minus and the transistor is replaced by its internal parameters like H parameters we are taking. H parameters H input resistance HIB because base is common every H parameter will be associated with the B value and this is the voltage source plus minus this voltage source is a dependent source HRB into Vs sweep voltage and current source on the other hand we are having this current source that is also dependent with HFE into IE input current this is the base terminal which is connected at the 
ground this is base and you are having a output resistance and it is HO HOB sorry HOB and in the circuit diagram we are having a capacitor this is Vs we are measuring at the output okay so now let us draw let us write the equations for the currents IE and IC thereby VI so IE is equal to IE is the current flowing from VCC, VEE through RE into the emitter of this transistor so here we are having the junction voltage VEB and on the other hand we are having VEE so VEE minus VEB by RE so IE is equal to VEE minus VEB by RE and switch is opened at T is equal to 0 because for the capacitor to charge ok so IC is equal to HFB into IE IC IC is nothing but here this is IC which is the current flowing in the output circuit IC is equal to HFE into IE that we can write it as minus alpha into IE this is current gain alpha into IE so the capacitor charges linearly with time and sweep is obtained so the capacitor charges linearly with time so a sweep is obtained okay now so from this equivalent circuit here the second circuit from this circuit we can write I, vi is equal to this is re and the current flowing is ie it is ie okay so vi we can write vi we can write it as vee minus v gamma vi we can write it as vee minus v gamma so veb is nothing but v gamma okay so vi is equal to vee minus v gamma that we can represent as capital vi which is the input voltage applied at the transistor so on applying this kvl to the input measure and kcl to the output node we have see apply kvl here and apply kcl here because it is a series connection it is a parallel connection so apply kvl yet input and KCL at output then VI is equal to IE into RE plus what is other resistance we are having input resistance HIB plus HRB into VS see go to this circuit diagram see here input VI is equal to IE into HR, RE plus HIB these two resistors plus this voltage HRB into Vs that we are treating it as capital VI similarly IC is equal to HFEB HFB IE plus HOB into Vs see this circuit diagram from here the current is flowing IC this current is a combination of these two not here the here IC is a combination of these two so IC is equal IC is divided as this current and the current flowing through this resistor so 
current is HFEIE, this is the value and here resistance into voltage. So, this is current and that we can write it as across the capacitor we are taking that we can also write it as minus C into voltage across capacitor is Vs by Dt. So, current this current IC is flowing in reverse direction. See here, this is the current that enters into this node. The current flowing in the reverse direction. In this direction, it is flowing. But Vs is shown plus minus like this. Okay, that's why when you are writing IC, it is in reverse direction. So, minus C into dVs by dt. Okay. So, at t is equal to 0, Vs is equal to 0, the solution to these equations is given by, solution is given by Vs is equal to alpha tau Vi, this is capital Vi, alpha tau Vi divided by C into Re plus Hib into E power 1 minus E power minus T by tau. Okay, so the voltage across capacitor at T is equal to 0, we are writing it as alpha into tau Vi by C into Re plus Hf hib into this one we know where alpha is equal to minus hfb and vi is equal to vee minus v gamma so and 1 by tau is equal to 1 by c into the resistance value hob Resistance is nothing but here admittance. It is in terms of HOB is nothing but admittance. Alpha HRB by RE plus HIB. So, expand this exponential into a power of series like E power T by tau. So, if you are expanding that, the higher order terms are going to be neglected. Then we will be having only the first value. So, Vs is equal to alpha Vi T divided by C into Re plus Hib. Now, immediately after T plus, that means just immediately after T is equal to 0, the emitter current, the emitter current IE is equal to VI by RE plus HIB. So, if the capacitor current to remain constant at this particular value, Vs is equal to alpha IE by C, then at T is equal to TS, we will be having Vs is equal to alpha VITS divided by C into Re plus HFE, Re by HFE. Therefore, Ts is equal to, we can write it as Vs into C Re plus HIB, HIB divided by alpha into Vi. But what we need from the final value slow, uh, slope error. Slope error Es is equal to Ts by tau. I told you in the beginning we have to calculate the slope uh, sweep slope error or sweep speed error Es that we can calculate it as Vs by V or Ts by T. That is equal to already what we have calculated that we need to be substitute here Re plus Hib into alpha vi into 1 by c admittance hob plus alpha hrb by 
आर ई प्लस एच आई बी सो दैट इज इक्वल टू इफ यू सिंप्लीफाई दिस वी एस बाई वी आई इन टू एच आर बी प्लस एच ओ बी बाई आल्फा इन टू आर ई प्लस एच ओ आई बी दिस इज दि स्लोप एरर This slope error is somewhat minimized compared to the previous transistor sweep circuit, where we don't have any additional components like what we have used here. There we have used a single transistor with a output capacitor and resistor. Whenever the transistor is in on state, capacitor discharges. If it is in off state, capacitor charges. But here we have used two biasing supplies, and the transistor is connected in a Uh, common base configuration there we have used in common collector uh, sorry common emitter configuration in a conventional way okay so after finally we have calculated the slope uh, slope error which is somewhat lesser value compared to previous one the slope error will be like this slope is this one if you are saying that the capacitor is charging so it charges like this up to some value again it discharges this particular slope we should have A steep, like a linear value, a linear value. Okay, so we are trying to get this linear value. So in the next video, I will tell you about Miller and Bootstrap, where they are much more betterment in compared to the previous and this one also. So that in Miller and Bootstrap, we will be having better and lesser slope error. Thank you.